Welcome back to the Turing test. So, I've figured out how to solve this puzzle. These are mathematical symbols. So, this is an OR. So, we can put it in this slot, or this slot, or this slot, or this slot, or this slot, etc, etc. So, you only need one for there, for an OR. This one here is AND. So we need to have energy in this slot and this slot, and so on, so on, so forth. So, that means we fill up all of this, and it will open up, like we figured out before. But we didn't know why that was happening. So now, for here, we need to go this slot because an A is AND, so this slot, or this slot, or this and this, so we need one in there, and or, or, or. So if we wanted to go, so yeah, we could put two into there and it would work as well and two into there and it would work as well but we don't need to because we can just put the one in there because it's that or that or that or that or that yeah so now for this one we have this or this and that and that and that or that And then, and, that, and that. Voila! And now, it should be a simple matter of figuring out this one. So, that, or that. And, that, or that. And, that, or that. And, that, or that. And we'll grab some of these orbs. Now, this one... This symbol is an exclusive OR. So in the previous ones, we could also put that in there and it would still work. Because we can have both ORs. But now we can only have one of the ORs. So we've got to go that or that, and that or that, and that or that, and that or that. And that solves that one for us. Now, we get to here. And this little symbol here means not that, and that, not that, so and not that, and that, and not that, and that, and not that, and that. So we need one more orb to put into this one there, and that will open it up for us. And now, that looked like it might be a puzzle, but that might open a secret door, but I couldn't figure any secret door out from there, so I'll just quickly put this orb back so I can get through the door. And we'll just go through. So I couldn't figure anything out for that, so if any of you guys know, just <laughs> chuck us a comment down in the bottom section. And I'll come back and have a go at it. Okay, so now... We have all these extra rooms where we can grab orbs out of that we need. And... We have this final puzzle over here to solve. Which says that or that, and that or that, and that or that, and that or that. So we need one, two, three, four orbs. So we'll grab the one from there. Grab. Oh, you have to go upstairs. Grab three from here. And we should be all good to get through this next puzzle door. Uh, ah, there we go. 
And that door opens. And we're here. Ooh. Boolean logic. Yeah, so that's Boolean mathematics. That, um, symbols. Don't lean on the glass. Okay. I don't really get what these paintings are representing. But there is some story here, by the looks of it. So, the goddess of Europa was given to Talos. Talos, a machine man made of a bronze... That's hard to see with that, um, glare. There we go. Made of a bronze made of a bronze, was made to protect the shores of her kingdom. I suppose there is nothing new under the sun. I know you're reading this, Tom. She is not yours to protect. She is ours. Okay. And gradually she lost her fear and he offered her breast for her virgin caresses. His horns for her to wind with chains of flowers until the princess dared to mount his back. Her pet bull's back, unwitting whom she rode. Then slowly, slowly down the broad, dry beach, first in the shallow waves the great god set his spurious hooves, then sauntered further out till in the open sea he bore his prize. Fear filled her heart as, gazing back, she saw the fast receding sands. Her right hand grasped a horn, the other leant upon his back, her fluttering tunic floating in the breeze. Okay. And there was a painting missing. I'm not exactly sure... ...what that means, but... ...I guess let's continue on. Okay, so that opens that door. What do we have over here, Tom? You have a look. We've got this. Uh, I know I can grab it out of Tom's back, so we'll do that. So we need both of them. You can grab this one as well, Kami. Yeah, you can. Okay. So that gives us... Those two. Which open the door for us. Yep, they do. Okay, cool. F57. stay here to die, Tom. It is your duty. You must stay. It is the right thing to do. There's so much I haven't seen, so... Much I haven't done. I... I can't live my life in this facility. There, there. It will be alright. Okay, so... That, that, that didn't sound like a very convincing there, there, Tom. So, I'm assuming this box is going to have to do something to do with... This? That raises that platform. And then that drops a platform. Okay, so if I drop that there and then... Ah, oh, I can Oh, okay. I can make it like that. But now I can't get across this bridge. Um, okay. So what does this do? That brings Tom over. Can Tom... Yeah, Tom can move the bridge for us. Okay. So, we should be able to... Why? Oh, okay, so we can get back up. Why is there that bridge over there? That's... Like, are you supposed to... Go over there for a particular reason? I can't see any. Oh, no, what the hell? I now can't get through that door. 
Um, what does that open up that door? Oh, the box closes the door. Oh, that's why. Okay, so how do I get that... How do I get that box back? Oh, there we go. Like that. That's how we get the box back. Okay, so... Now Tom is over there. That's why... Um, so give me that, we can drop this on here and run across, and now Tom, I'm assuming he can, yeah he can, so he can move that across there, and we're through. F-58. I oh, do not want geez. anyone here to die. Hello, Tom. But I cannot let anyone leave. If it comes to it, I am permitted to use lethal force. Okay, so that raises that platform. Um, if I put you over here, Tom, what is up the top there? Uh, just another platform. But I can't get myself up. I can't give it to him either. So he should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Oh, she was. Now, like this. And so we have to work together now. So... I jump up of here, grab this one. Oh, Jesus. There's a door here. Okay. I'm assuming I'm going to have to come through here. Anyway, so. Oh, man, what the hell? I can't. Oh, no, don't worry. I grab this, and now we'll head over here, and now I can... get Tom to lift me up like this, and then I can run around here, grab the orb, And lift Tom up, because that won't let us up, will it? No. And I can't... Oh. Nah. Okay. Now we lift Tom up. And we can use Tom to put the object in there. Okay, we will now change back, grab it out, get onto the platform, and we're done. Yes, F-59. Do you really trust the ground team to act rationally? Personally, I would not place my faith in hysterical people motivated by survival. They are likely untrustworthy. I spent years training with these people. I don't remember them being hysterical. Humans are fickle. Do you trust eyewitnesses' accounts <laughs> over CCTV evidence? It's a bit different when the CCTV camera can talk. Exactly. Especially when the CCTV camera has a manipulative track record. Okay, so how are we going to drop that box? Because there's no, like... Uh, let's have a look. What can Tom see? Oh. 
Oh my god, that's a bloody turret. And Tom seems to be immune to the turret. But that just happens to drop. That's funny. I wonder what would have been happening if you were standing on that platform when that dropped. F60. What if I have to do something drastic to intervene? To stop End the ground crew six. leaving this place? I'd encourage you to stay your hand. Surely I should use my power to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Okay, so we have a box and we have Tom. Um, um, let's just drop the box here first and we'll see what's over here before we start moving Tom. I'm assuming you're going to be able to yeah, move that. So we're definitely going to have to use you for that in some way. What do we have up here? Oh god, okay, we have a door. Okay. So... Can I... I can use Tom to do that. Will this door open? It will. Now this door's closed. If I put Tom on it, will it... It will. And now... I'm gonna have to push the... box back on, because otherwise... Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Did that turn it on? Yes, the bridge is now active. Awesome. And now Tom. Oh, I can't see that from up here. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh no, I can. Oh, there we go. Get you to stand there. Hello, Peeping Tom. And... There we go. Oh, I didn't even need this. Why did I... Oh, okay. <laughs> the drilling site. This is the largest extraction platform outside of Earth. Oh, wow. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some Filberth probes to the ocean under Europa, but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. Okay, so what's down here? Uh... Is there a point to that? I don't know, we'll have to find out. Won't we? Can I move any of these knobs or mechanisms? Nope. Okay. That Oh, there we go. That's the area that we were in the bio lab, where they've got the specimens in the plant, the virus in the plants. That's pretty nifty. We were looking out here only a few episodes ago. Okay. We got some audio logs. Daniel. As commander of this mission, I hope you are aware of Mikhail's actions. What is it, Tom? Mikhail is deceiving the crew. He has enlightened them to the biometrics they have installed. He has convinced them that their implants are not favorable. Do they believe him? He seems to be having some effect on their cognitive function. 
Well, his actions don't infringe upon any ISA directive. He appears to be tampering with his implants. Oh, no. The ISA should have been more transparent about the implants. Please assume the responsibilities of your role. Whoa, you're getting a bit aggressive there, Tom. Kind of a bit demanding. Chris, I know you are considering removing your implants. It would be unwise. Oh, really? How do you know that? I am always watching. Your implants help myself and the ISA to know of your well-being. It is a violation of your contract. If you remove your implants, I cannot ensure that I can protect you from the dangers of space. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Tom, this implant, tell me plainly, is it a brain-computer interface? I'm afraid that information is classified. That you've answered my questions. I do not follow you, Chris. The ISA have put a computer in my brain and don't want me to know about it. Tom saying that it's classified has just... <laughs> yeah, made... Yeah. I see why Tom doesn't understand. He can only think binarily, and if he's being told it's classified and he can't tell them, then that's what he'll say. He won't lie about it and say no, because that's not programmed into his... code? Yeah. Oh my god, I think that was Chris and Mikhail pulling out their implants, maybe? They can't find out the doctor. The contact's home. Maybe they can help. How can they help? They're a million miles away. Surgeon would help. Besides, it's in their interest to protect their crew. I couldn't hear that very well, but I was thinking that it might have been Sarah saying that we won't, we can't contact the ISA back home, saying that Tom's maybe going to hurt them. I don't, I don't know. And that Chris was saying that they should be able to help, but Sarah was saying that they're a million miles away. How would they help? And Chris was saying it's the interest for them to keep their crew safe. I think. It's getting pretty deep. Got some more audio logs. He's cut off the food. The food! Apparently, our robot overlord wants us to starve to death now. I can't believe this. He's getting worse. Can you get in contact with Daniel? He's gone walkabout again. I'll get Sochi to find a way in. Okay, so Tom cut off their food, and now they're trying to find a way into that room that we found that Daniel was in when he dis said he was going to disappear. Sarah, can you open the door? Tom, the door's locked. Sarah, I'm running out of our kitchen. Tom, open the door! The door's locked! Open, open the, the door. door! Tom, open it! Open the oh. door! Chris, open please. the door! Open it! Oh my god. Did Tom just commit murder? by killing Chris, or whoever that was, locked in. So that was Sarah yelling, but Tom wouldn't answer. I'm sorry, Sarah. Yeah, it was. Christ. I'm sorry I hurt you. Sometimes I wonder what feeling is like. They told me I was pure, cold, Boolean logic. They told me I could not make mistakes. It is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible, then that just leaves untouchable, doesn't it? Oh my god, that sounded freaking creepy. So he thinks he's untouchable now, just untouchable, not infallible. So he thinks he might be able to make mistakes, but he's still untouchable. 
He sounds like he's starting to go psychopathic. I don't think we should do this. We have no good evidence Tom is doing anything wrong here. We have all the evidence we've seen, the ultrasounds we've taken, the really soul. We've touched the electronics with our own hands. We've stepped into the Faraday cage. Maybe he is controlling us, but we don't know enough yet. We shouldn't remove the implants. He's brainwashing you, Daniels. Have you stopped taking the drugs? I don't need to take drugs to see things clearly. Unlike all of you, apparently. We're not removing the implants, and that's an order. You can do what you want. We are removing the implants. I'm leaving. I may look past this, and I'll inform the ISA of your mutiny. Oh god, so... Sarah and... Forget the other person's name, are going to remove their implants, but Daniel, the captain, is still... under Tom's influence, I guess. Or doesn't want to act out? Maybe? So that's the end of chapter 6. Some pretty heavy story and yeah <laughs> coming in there at the end of chapter 6 in the drilling area. So everyone started to wake up to the fact that the ISA have implanted them with mind-altering chips, I guess you could say. And some want to act out against it, whereas some, like Daniel, the captain, kind of is going to stay with what the ISA want and stick to his contract. So we're in Sector G61 now. I would now. never have let the Chapter drill start seven. if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. <laughs> Oh god, okay, um, so these are operating these, so having a blue one in will never do us any good, because it'll stop them moving. But... I... Ah, okay, so there's a green one there. Will that... If I put that there... Yeah, that'll get us up the top there, but how do I get through that door now? Let's have a look see whether Tom can grab he can okay then I can get through that door up there and Tom can pass it the orb back to me through that um, socket that's up on the wall there now grab that there chuck it there and I'll get Tom to head through here so that we can regain control of him after we've gone through. Yeah. Okay. So now we can get up to here. Now we've got to do the same on the other side. Okay, so I can't get up to the next platform. So... I'm thinking... I need to switch these around. 
And then I'm going to move back out here so I can regain control of him again, just in case that was wrong. No? Ah, that seems to be right. Awesome. G62. We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. They might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need to. It may never know the details of what happened here. But Ava, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. Okay. Um, and on those words from Tom, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed, guys, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.